Have you ever experienced the frustration of knowing there's a potential customer nearby who needs your services, yet doesn't even know you exist? With Canada having some of the world's highest internet usage rates not being visible online is essentially waving goodbye to potential customers. And that's where hyper local SEO steps in. In this video, I'm going to help you understand the strategies for hyper local SEO, making your business the neighborhood favorite for near me searches. So first off, what is hyper local SEO? Hyper local SEO positions your business as the go-to choice for customers in your immediate vicinity. Unlike traditional SEO, which targets a broader region, hyperlocal focuses on a specific area like your street or your neighborhood. This ensures high visibility in near me or close by searches and increases local relevance. For example, a cafe in Vancouver optimizing for best espresso near Granville Island or a boutique in Toronto targeting women's clothing near Queen Street West. By focusing your SEO efforts on a hyper local level, you ensure your business isn't just visible, but the preferred choice for locals searching for what you have to offer. To put hyperlocal SEO into perspective, let's compare it with traditional SEO and local SEO with examples of how it applies to Canadian local businesses. For a targeted geographical area, for traditional SEO that focuses on a national or international scale, you might include the phrase Canada-wide services. For local SEO, you would drill that down to the city like Toronto or Vancouver. And for hyper-local SEO, you would drill down even further to specific neighborhoods, streets, or localities within a city. So for example, Gastown in Vancouver or Kensington Market, Toronto. For targeted audiences, in traditional SEO, you would target a broad audience across a wide geographic area. For local SEO, you would target only those people in a specific city or region. While with hyper-local SEO, you would target people or businesses in a very specific location, such as a neighborhood or near a specific landmark. For keyword focus, in traditional SEO, you would use general industry terms like best laptops for 2024. For local SEO, the keywords would reflect a more local theme like best laptop repair in Toronto. And for hyper-local SEO, you go ultra specific like laptop repair near Queen and Bathurst, Toronto. For search intent, with traditional SEO, it can be varied, including informational, transactional, and navigational. Example, researching laptops. For local SEO, it would be primarily transactional navigational with local informational searches. So for example, searching for local laptop repair services in Toronto. But for hyper-local SEO, search intent is strongly focused on transactional and navigational for immediate local services. So for example, looking for laptop repair available right now on Queen Street West. For link building, with traditional SEO, you would look to get backlinks from a variety of national and international sources. With local SEO, your backlinks would be from local businesses, local news sites, and community blogs. But for hyper-local SEO, primarily focuses on ultra-local backlinks like neighborhood associations and local community events. Other factors that differ when it comes to hyper-local SEO versus traditional and local SEO are competition and conversion. You can expect lower competition when running a hyper-local SEO campaign, and you can expect a higher quality of conversion since you are targeting a strongly focused search intent. Now, on the flip side, while the quality of conversions will be higher, the quantity of those conversions are going to be low because of the ultra-focused strategy. Ranking difficulty. It's also easier to rank for hyper-local SEO because you're not competing with everyone in your country, province, or even city, but a smaller targeted area. Content strategy. When crafting content for your traditional SEO program, using broad-based keywords is fine. For example, how to choose a laptop. Local SEO requires a bit more focused content strategy, adding in specifics to a city. For example, the 10 best places to buy a laptop in Toronto. Hyperlocal SEO requires a more detailed, focused content strategy that targets a specific neighborhood, like where to get your laptop repaired in Little Italy, Toronto. 
Why is hyper-local SEO important for local Canadian businesses? Hyper-local SEO helps you capitalize on local intent searches by optimizing your online presence for them. And here are some key benefits of hyper-local SEO. You can boost your ranking in local searches. Imagine being the top three results on Google Maps for searches like best plumber near Humber Line Drive or coffee shop near me in downtown Toronto. Hyperlocal SEO helps you climb the local search rankings, making you more visible. This means that when people search for what you offer, they'll see your business right away, making you the top choice. It can help increase sales and conversions. When someone searches for a service near me, it usually means they're ready to buy and want something convenient that's nearby. By optimizing your online presence for these searches, you become the first answer they see. This can lead to more customers visiting your store or buying from you online. Near me searches are extremely valuable. 76% of people who search on their smartphones for something nearby will visit a business within a day and 28% of those searches will result in a purchase. It can help you build a strong local brand. A strong online presence that reflects your local area can do more than just improve your search ranking. It can help build your brand. Hyperlocal SEO shows your trusted local business and part of the community. It's like a digital handshake with your neighbors, introducing them to your brand values and why you're the best choice before they even visit you. You can target specific neighborhoods. Canada is a big country with different needs in different places. What works in Montreal might not work in Victoria. For hyper-local targeting, research local slang, landmarks, and neighborhood nicknames. Target Kitts Beach Yoga Studio instead of just Vancouver Yoga Studio or Kitsilano Beach Yoga Studio for better local resonance. And you become a local authority. Hyper-local SEO elevates your business from a mere map listing to a trusted neighbor and local leader. This strategic approach is crucial to help you thrive in Canada's competitive market. So here are some must-do hyper-local SEO strategies for local Canadian businesses. Let's explore the essential hyper-local SEO strategies to ensure your local Canadian business isn't just participating in the digital economy, but thriving in it. First, optimize your Google Business Profile Listing, or your GBP. By having a Google business profile, your business will show up on Google search results and maps, which can lead to increased traffic and ultimately more customers. You need to claim and verify your GPP. Start by claiming and verifying your business on Google business profile. Complete every detail, fill in every section accurately from hours of operations to services offered, including those hyper local keywords like the neighborhoods you serve. You're gonna to wanna to add high quality photos. Include geotag inside and outside photos of your business and your team and regularly update them. Also, upload photos of your services and products. You're also gonna to want to gather reviews. Encourage satisfied customers to leave positive reviews and respond thoughtfully for each one. You're gonna to wanna to choose relevant categories. Select the most relevant categories for your business to help local searchers find you and engage with local posts. Regularly share business updates, promotions, and events through Google Posts to keep your local audience informed. Now, here's a tip on how to geotag your photos. Most smartphones automatically geotag photos when you take them. If you're unsure, check your camera settings and enable location services or geotag photos. You can also manually geotag photos after they're taken using various photo editing or online tools like geotagseo.com. Here's a little bit about mobile optimization for hyperlocal SEO. In today's mobile first world, a mobile friendly website is non-negotiable and here's why. 64% of searches are from mobile devices. And without a mobile friendly site, you're invisible to most local customers searching for businesses like yours. It also gives you a local search ranking boost. Google favors mobile friendly sites in local search results. Having a responsive website, that's a site that looks great on a desktop or on a smartphone that provides a smooth user experience on mobile devices can boost your local search ranking. So here are some key mobile optimization elements. 
responsive designs for all screen sizes, fast loading speeds under three seconds, click to call functionality, clear location visibility, a mobile friendly content structure, large tappable buttons for easy navigation, especially on your call to action or CTA buttons. And remember when you're doing hyperlocal SEO to do your hyperlocal keyword research. You have to uncover the language of your local customers. While traditional keyword research tools like Google Keyword Planner are great for understanding broader search trends, they might not be the most decisive solution for uncovering the true language of local customers. Hyperlocal keywords often target a specific neighborhood or area, resulting in lower overall search volume compared to generic terms. However, these searches represent users with high purchase intent who are likely close to your business, making them incredibly valuable. Here are some alternative methods to discover hyper local keywords. Try Google autocomplete. So start typing relevant keywords and see what suggestions Google populates. This can reveal hyper local variations people use in searches. So for example, typing pizza might suggest best deep dish pizza in wherever your neighborhood is. Local online communities. Join Facebook groups, forums, or online message boards relevant to your area and industry. See how people talk about the services you offer. What specific terms do they use to describe their need? For example, need a reliable plumber in whatever neighborhood to fix a leaky faucet. Competitor analysis. Look at your local competitors' websites and social media presence. What keywords are they targeting? Are there any hyperlocal terms that they've identified that you can incorporate into your strategy? You can also directly ask your customers. Talk to existing customers and ask them how they would search for your business online. This can be a gold mine for uncovering hyperlocal keywords that you might not have considered. For example, when searching for a whatever your industry is, what terms would you use? You also need to expand your local keywords. Include your industry and your neighborhood. For example, dry cleaners in the beaches. Or you can use industry near landmark name. For example, coffee shop near High Park. Consider using service and postal code. For example, plumbing service near M4J3B3. You can also use long tail keywords. You don't want to forget these long tail keywords. These even more specific searches can be incredibly effective for hyperlocal SEO. For example, the long tail keyword, best place to get gluten-free cupcakes in Little Italy. You're also going to want to make sure you pay attention when crafting your hyper-local SEO content. Creating content that resonates with your hyper-local audience is key to engaging potential customers. So here's how to craft content that hits home. Highlight local events and news. Write blog posts, social media updates, or landing pages dedicated to local happenings relevant to your business and audience. This not only boosts your SEO, but also shows your investment in the community. Showcase customer stories. Share testimonials or stories from local customers. This personal touch can make your business more relatable and trustworthy to people in your area. Use local language and slang. If your community has unique phrases or slang, incorporating them into your content can make your business feel more familiar and embedded in the local culture. Feature local landmarks or popular spots. Mentioning well-known local landmarks or favorite local spots in your content can help improve local search relevance and forge a stronger connection with your audience. Create location-specific pages. If your business serves multiple neighborhoods or locations, consider creating separate pages on your website for each area. Tailor the content on these pages to reflect the specific services, offers, or events relevant to each location. You're also going to want to make sure that you're optimized for voice search for hyper-local SEO. The rise of voice assistance makes voice search optimization crucial for hyper-local SEO. Here's how to optimize your presence for spoken queries. Conversational content. Craft website content that answers questions users might ask with voice search. So for instance, a bakery might target closest bakery open now by highlighting opening hours and fresh pastries daily on their homepage. Natural language keywords. Integrate natural language phrases mirroring spoken conversations. A window cleaning service could target 
best window cleaning services in Winnipeg throughout its website. Quick answer optimization. Structure content to deliver fast answers. A pet store might have a prominent FAQ section listing pet friendly cafes near its location. Conversational clarity. Keep answers short and direct, replicating a conversation. A bookstore, for example, could target quiet reading cafes with a blog post listing nearby cafes, including theirs if relevant. Seasonal and local focus. Create content aligned with local interests. A sporting goods store could target fall activities for families with a curated list of nearby hiking trails. Hyper-local activity integration. Align content with local activities. So for example, dentists could write a blog post about kid-friendly restaurants near me to appear in searches for family dining options. Schema markup for local SEO boost. Improve your local SEO with schema markup, which is coding that helps search engines understand your business. Schema markup gives search engines more info, making it easier for your customers to find you. Remember, accurate and consistent information is key. So for local business schema, add your name, address, phone number, and hours. This helps you appear in local searches and voice queries. For product service schema, highlight what you offer to show up in relevant searches. And for review schemas, display ratings and reviews to build trust and clicks. You also should be focusing on building local online citations. Ensure your business is listed in local online directories and citation sites. Prioritize accuracy and consistency in your NAP. That's your name, address, and phone number. Information across all your listings. So here are some top directories for Canadian businesses. Use social media platforms to connect with your local community. Share local news, participate in local events, and use location-based hashtags to increase visibility. And here's something that's really important, and I've talked about this before, and that is encourage positive online reviews. Positive reviews boost your reputation and search rankings. Encourage reviews by asking customers directly, providing easy links, and responding to all reviews, both positive and negative. If you have the budget, you also might want to think about running a local PPC campaign. You can complement your SEO efforts with PPC, that's pay-per-click campaigns targeting local keywords. This can provide immediate visibility while your organic efforts gain momentum. Now here's a little tip about Google Ads. Use Google Ads location targeting to show your ads to users in specific geographic areas, ensuring you're reaching the most relevant audience. So you can reap the rewards and own your local market with hyper-local SEO. By implementing these strategies, you're not just ensuring your business is seen, you're becoming a trusted neighbor, a remembered name, and essentially the go-to choice. Reap the rewards of hyper-local SEO and watch your local business flourish. If you're ready to unlock the hyper-local SEO advantage, I want you to click on the link below to subscribe to this video and hit that notification bell. I also want you to head over to our website and get our free report on how to get more customers for your website. It's a great report that's going to show you not only hyper-local SEO tips, but a wide range of optimization tips to help you get more customers for your business. So don't forget to hit that subscribe link and I look forward to seeing you soon.